You just condemned Israel for killing civilians and you won't condemn Hamas for killing civilians. How many times you have interviewed Israeli officials, Luis? Hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. How many times Israel have committed war crimes right live on your own cameras? Do you start by asking them to condemn themselves? Have you? You don't. You don't. No, no, I'll answer that question. You don't. You know why I refuse to answer this question? Because I, I refuse the premise of it. Because at the very heart of it is misrepresentation of the whole thing. Because it's the Palestinians that are always expected to condemn themselves. I mean, come on, this is a political conflict. We have been denied our rights for a long time. So this is the wrong starting point. The right starting point is to focus on the root causes, is to try and get out of this extreme dark tunnel, as opposed to this business and how, by how, BBC how you... and the mainstream media for, for 75 years. You, get, you bring us here whenever there are Israelis who are killed. Did you bring me here when many Palestinians in the West Bank, more than 200 uh, over the last few months, do you invite me when there are such Israeli provocations in Jerusalem and elsewhere? Because Israel, what Israelis have seen, which we started by saying tragic, the last 48 hours, the Palestinians see every day for the last 70, uh, 50, 50 years. You know the situation in Gaza, you've just described it. This is the biggest open air prison. Those people, 2 million, have been taken hostage by Israel for the